Okay, so this is your power source. This is set to about in the middle, halfway up. This is set to half wave as it slows things down a bit, makes it a bit easier to to set. And this is just it really doesn't matter which way on that goes, it just has to stay the same. This is your timer unit, and this here is your adjustment screw. This white thing here. It's very, very sensitive. So the slightest turn on that adjusts how quickly or slowly this relay changes. You can hear it change. There's this re relay here. There we go. Slightest turn anti-clockwise is going to make that quicker and the slightest turn clockwise is going to make that slower. Slower. Um, they're very, very sensitive. The quicker that changes, whatever, um, it's important to remember not to set the loco going too fast because if the loco goes too fast it's going to fly off the end of the track before it cuts out. It does because it gets a stop signal here and stops. But I really wouldn't set it too fast. And the important thing to remember is that the power supply and the timer are separate things, they don't work together. That just applies a voltage to the track and that can and that, 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 that timer thing um, moves it backwards and forwards. Um, so you, you, you can set it wrong basically. So just 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 be careful when you when you set it up. But as you can see, I mean that has not stopped. Um, I think we'll go backwards. The lights on. So all we've done to the loco is clean the pickups because um, a couple of them had a little bit of dirt on. They now run fine, and changed all your lights. Um, yeah. Probably don't want to have that on full wave. Thinking about it, that's probably why all your lights are going. So just leave it on half. Okay. Uh, and there we go. I'm going to stop the video there.